Hey, guys, welcome back. We have another story. We have another whatnot story, another whatnot, oopsie doopsie, a la poopsie, the scammerino, stolen product situation. What do we have here? We have an LGS uh, who partnered with streamers or one particular streamer in this case, uh, streamer and his wife. And um, they uh, they went ahead and, and were stealing from the game store. Again, this is uh, all according to the game store. I'm just here to shed my opinion, shed some light on this, uh, and uh, maybe maybe see how it turns out. But maybe another example of how whatnot needs to have more precautions in place. So something like this turns into less of a mess than it already is. I guarantee this thing is a mess. This is going to be a huge mess because if all these items are stolen and they were sold all over the world, potentially, probably mostly all over North America, but uh, but yeah, we we got we got stolen goods being sold. We got a, a disappearing whatnot streamer. Again, this is I, I think this just lends itself mainly to be very careful who you partner with, who you trust with your if you're running a, a business or if whether it's a whatnot. If you're a whatnot and G baller and you want to partner with other G ballers and you just send them a bunch of stuff and you rely on them to do the right thing and not steal from you. You could be in for a bad time. Uh, again, not that you shouldn't ever trust anyone at any point, but you got to be very careful with who you do trust and the amount of money that you trust them with. If you have someone in your store, if they have access to product, if they can be stealing it, they might steal it. Turns out. So what do we have here? We have a post by a do underscore judge 926. Um, who, uh, who is posting on the behalf of uh, Pokehive, the Pokehive. Uh, we've had a disagreement in the past. I think we're good now. Uh, but uh, yeah, I want to highlight uh, what's going on here, their posts. Uh, and uh, hopefully this is just a little bit of a cautionary tale. Again, as a, a, a game store, you want to move a lot of product. Uh, and you might be inclined to, you know, get some G-Baller 69 off the street, pull them on into the game store, tell them, hey, you can sell whatever you want in the store, you can stream from the store, have at it. As long as I get the price from what I need, we can turn over a lot of inventory. Uh, but the problem is, you got to make sure that you trust that person. Same with employees. Um, man, I do not envy anyone that has to hire employees for this type of thing, uh, where you have a, even, even a physical game store. Even if we go back in time, there's no online, there's no whatnot, G-ballers you know doing sketchy things just straight up uh your employees like to, to have to look over employees to have cameras and everything else to make sure that like your employees are trustworthy uh, again maybe they're not making very much money so then they're like hold a grudge and they're like oh well i'm gonna just pocket some cards every day i'm gonna you know open some stuff that i shouldn't be opening uh to keep an eye on all that stuff like an inventory that's always changing whether it's like the the collection buys or anything that's coming in um, you you got to have a lot of trust, a lot of faith in the employees that are working for you. We've seen it many times where like bad things happen and no, like, you shouldn't be stealing from anywhere. It's, it's not an excuse. Uh, if you don't like how you're treated, then find another job, go somewhere that will appreciate you do something that, you know, you, you can get that validation or that pay or whatever you need, uh, from your place of employment. Um, it, just, just because, uh, your boss is a wiener baby supreme doesn't mean you should be taking anything from them. I know people don't want to hear that, but, uh, that, that's what it is. Even, even if it's, I don't care if it's Walmart or if it's anything else, man, we got another, I think there's another story of Walmart. People stop stealing from Walmart. Holy moly. All right. Don't, I mean, stop stealing from anywhere, but this is, uh, this is definitely a mess. All right, let's read through what the the posts are here. Uh, they are are the the stories, the Instagram stories, which are no longer present. Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna give a whole read through. The Poke Hive says, "Friends, I need your help." Preface: I gave many people an opportunity to remotely stream for our store. In almost every instance, I was taken advantage of. In this particular issue, I like it go on the way longer than it should have. I let it go on way longer than it should have. I gave them the benefit of the doubt. And even when people warn me, I let their crocodile tears give them more opportunities. Yeah, there's a lot of that. There's a lot of like, and I don't mean the, the people love to just pull out like the Oh, I'm a victim. And I, my every single family member, everyone I've ever known in life is sick. And I'm just trying to pay their bills. And just ridiculous crap. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm doing it for the family. And then they're going out to nightclubs uh, and, uh, and dancing and making G baller videos. 
Bottom line, one streamer has stolen tens of thousands of dollars from us. While we get illegal counsel and begin police involvement, we need your help to rid them off, whatnot. So this should be like a very easy, like, whatnot could have a, a form or a submission of some kind where you can get in touch with them. Uh, if you're the person that the stolen goods belong to, you're the rightful owner of those stolen goods that were sold on the platform, you should be able to just directly contact them, file, hey, here it is, here's my police report. These items were stolen from me. We got to do something about it. Instead, we got we got we got to make posts here. I'm gonna make a video. Maybe whatnot does something about it at that point in time. Again, very slow to move. I've seen a lot. We got to get back onto the Blake stuff here in the near future. I I don't understand. Like what? Where where is the priority? Like this is the kind of thing. This is the only reason that you should exist as a platform. Otherwise, it can just still be like the underground Facebook nonsense, Instagram and Facebook nonsense, where it's just the. I mean, it's the Wild West regardless, apparently, because none of the shit is enforced the way that it needs to be. But you would think that there'd be, like, a very heavy, like, precaution in, like, stolen goods or something like that. Like, shut it down. Hitting poke underscore TCG. Oh, he's got the G-baller Gengar. Very cool. Has been selling product he stole from us for weeks, if not months. We had a verbal agreement on consignment rates, and at first it seemed to go well. Product was moving, but more and more rumors of being skimmed were getting to me. I never had solid evidence, despite the funds not matching inventory until today. So yeah, the, I'm, I don't, I don't know. I, mean, I don't know if he had to like make sure that like he was the transactions were happening. I, and, and that's the thing too. If if you have somebody that like wants to stream for the store, they're not an employee. But then, do you have employees like handing the stuff over to them? Or are they just just grabbing what they want to grab and selling what they need to sell? I mean, I guess that's one way in 2023 uh, in order to uh, to turn a profit on whatnot uh, without doing carnival games. You, you know, all you had to do is just steal whatever you're selling. Pretty much what it comes down to. Again, I don't know how, like, how do you think this is a good idea or that you're going to get away with this? It blows my mind. Like, you think the police are not going to do something? You can't just steal from your... I don't think it's even place of employment. It doesn't sound like there was an actual, like, they were an actual employee. There's just, like, a partnership or something. All right, we got some conversations here. Uh, essentially, them discussing, hey, can I buy this stuff to, so I can, I'm going live right now. Never mind being prepped in advance and having something worked out in advance of the stream. We're just, we're just going to do it right as I'm going live. All right, what do they got here? Pokehive says, the Brandon would take 20 to 40 science labs for me every few days. They were sitting in a cabinet, so I didn't think much of it, if they were moving quickly or not. He would go through them and price them at $100 to $200 each. The only problem is he was selling them wholesale for $30 without my consent and pocketing 100% of the money. Oh, okay, so... Uh, again, another area where, yes, you got to be very careful with who you partner with. But like, if whatnot just had the video footage of everything, they didn't give the option. There should not be an option for a seller to hide the video, hide the replay. That shouldn't be a thing. I'm, my apologies. But when you're selling stuff to customers and there's a lot of bad things that can be done, sleight of hand, stolen goods, all this other stuff, we've seen it time and time again. No, not everyone is doing that. Not everyone's stealing things and then selling them on whatnot. But why is it just not public publicly available? Because then the Poco Hive, anyone else that has the time or wants to go through the footage in order to find out if those stolen items are there and confirm those st stolen items are there, that or at least have it so that you can request. You can easily request the footage that you need to go through in order to do Whatnot's job for them. Like, okay, I, I get it. This is not really Whatnot's job to go through and make sure that, like, any of the stolen items came exactly from the store, what was stolen, what wasn't stolen. But it is. it should be, it should be pretty reasonable to expect them to just provide the footage if you need it in order to take the legal action, in order to take action with the law enforcement that's going to have to get involved with this. All right, what do we got here? We got everything they've sold since June. Holy moly. Consider everything you've received from them stolen. Please report them to whatnot for selling my stolen product on their streams. So this sucks for customers, but at the same time, that's kind of what, what you deal with. Even if you're buying stuff on eBay, uh, if it's stolen, you, yeah, you, you 
you're going to have to turn it in. You're probably going to have to turn it in uh, unless some other action is taken. Should you should you get a refund for this? Yes. This, is this going to be another disaster mass refund situation? Yeah, probably. If you guys haven't watched my video yesterday on uh, Pokemon Wizard, my God, the amount of people that want to defend all the stuff that I've shown, the, the stuff going off screen, the packs that were open on the bottom that he's trying to hide because they were resealed. The fact that he has all these hits conveniently from the same boxes that he was opening and those weren't in there. Like We got a, a hollow rocket zard, but there was none in the box. Like he isn't taking the... I mean, I would be very surprised if he isn't taking all of the best stuff, all of the big hits. Oh, what? How are the, the, all the Charizards, all the crystals... All the gold stars. Anyway, back, if you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link to that down below in the description. Make sure you check that one out. I don't, I don't get it. There's a lot of uh, wiener babes who want to uh, defend those actions. I, I, is someone going to defend this? Like you're going to steal stuff and sell it on there? Unreal. Um, so, again, this is like whatnot should just shut it down uh, and then put a freeze on anything that's going on. Maybe notify all the customers like, hey, you might have been impacted. Please make sure that you hold on to this item that you purchased from the seller. Everything through the date that was claimed. Again, you should have to provide the police report in order to do this. Uh, but just giving people a heads up like, hey, you might have to send this back in. We're going to refund you. That sort of thing. Otherwise, like whatnot basically shouldn't exist. There's not really any reason for it other than that, right? If they can't look after the customers uh, and or make sure that, you know, things like stolen goods get resolved, then why are they even there? I am currently gathering information for legal counsel. If you have any info or experience with them, please reach out. Taking away their resource to sell my stolen goods is the first step for reconciliation. My easygoing nature and trust put me in this position, but no one deserves to lose tens of thousands for trusting someone and helping grow their business. Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, that's the thing too. It's just like a very, very hard in this day and age to to make that your business to make that like your primary method um as you can see here uh, apparently they couldn't even make that business function uh without having to need that like overhead beforehand to have inventory even with that pulled out of the equation this person still had to resort to stealing that's pretty that's pretty wild so is it, is it, can you do it as a full-time job? I would think that you have to grind your absolute buns off to do it in an honest way. Or you get into the like sketchy underground online casino type stuff that we've seen where people are getting ripped off in that way too. Then you're selling, you're selling gambling. You're not selling Pokemon cards or sports cards or whatever else you want to sell and whatnot. Used underwear. If you do report them, thank you. If you can reconsider purchase from them, thank you. I'm not looking for sympathy. We're looking for justice. They are, we notified not to step back into our store and I will be sure every other store in San Antonio knows it too. Um, I think that's pretty fair. At whatnot, I implore you to refund the buyers involved in their transactions. I will be deactivating certs for known stolen product and many people will be affected. So that's the thing too, uh, at least with PSA. I'm not sure how it works with Beckett, CGC, uh, but with PSA, if you file a police report, essentially you can deactivate the certs. Uh, it'll, it'll mark them as stolen. Um, I, I think that's kind of like what it comes down to, what it needs to be. I don't know if like, I don't know exactly how this would be cleaned up in, in the best way possible. I don't know if potentially um, th they can work at it. I don't know how this would work because like what now would have to go after the thief streamer to get the money or they have to just base and like take a take a hit on the on the fees that they're like that they acquire from everyone other than you know select individuals blake <clears throat> all right what else we got here we got the poke hive posting the old brandon nash um account which is conveniently does not exist anymore these are the culprits um so him his wife uh they have of course Conveniently, here's the Poker Hive Instagram. We have the uh, Brandon's Instagram, his wife's Instagram, both very deactivated and or hidden at the time 
very cool of them to go into hiding like that. Uh, but it's okay. We got we got Brandon on TikTok. Very cool here. You can t he's got the G baller pose with his G baller vehicle, Subaru Club baby, to the max. Um, not too far off from uh, what do we have? The Zard Sanctuary. What, is it? Is this the new trend? It's not just the arm tattoos are one thing, but now we got. Uh, if you're a car enthusiast, if you're in car clubs, uh, then you're also more likely. I guess like it kind of shows that you're irresponsible with money. Typically, most of these the car guys are are pretty. They know how to blow a lot of money. Maybe you needed uh, to steal some uh, Pokemon product in order to do this. But that's the thing too. It's just like the, the dude clearly isn't that into like Pokemon stuff. So I guess maybe he was just doing it for money, but then also stealing for stealing for money again allegedly we're, we're gonna we're gonna keep it alleged here um but uh yeah i don't know why or how whatnot can't just like do something about this you would think that they would temporarily deactivate the account uh but no it is uh it is still very very there um again sometimes it looks different on here when um when someone is you know banned suspended whatever you want to call it whatever they decide to do it's different every time uh, but you would think that there'd be some kind of like investigation going on here I, i'm guessing that they just did nothing and yes you're gonna you're gonna five stars you get 4.9 stars but um yeah of course chill streamer and very nice product for the price well i mean i would imagine when you're actually selling the stuff uh and you don't really need you don't need to shill bid it because it's not even your stuff thanks for the slabbies why does like why i is this a one not thing? Why does everyone have to do like a baby talk? It's like moo 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 slabby dabby doos slabby wabbies something like that. I don't know. I, I, this whole thing is ridiculous. Um, it's just I, I think there's a new reason every day to just not shop on whatnot, to not sell on whatnot, to not be associated with whatnot uh, until they sprint the fuck up and look after customers, uh, look after you know, remove the. These sketchy people, the thieves, everyone else, which they're very slow to do it if they do it at all. I've given them plenty of examples of people that were just straight ripping other people off, and that's who they want on their platform. So they can fuck themselves all the way to hell. I'm trying to help here, but um, none of the none of it's going to get better if if you don't ban people. That are straight up taking advantage of other people, stealing, especially stealing directly from customers. Like that's wild to me. You can have somebody stealing directly from customers, and you fucking take your time and half-ass maybe or maybe don't ban them. You get shill bidding from Blake, and he gets a weak suspension. You got Craig, who owned part of Blake's breaks, owns probably still owns part of Blake's breaks. Still, just well, he's still a manager. He's still there. He can still stream. He still moderates the official whatnot streams. But he was making money off of Blake and the Blakers stealing from people with rigged gambling. Fucking beautiful platform. I don't know, guys. Is it? Does it ever end? Does it get any worse? Can it get any worse? It almost certainly will. We're going to find out how it does, why it does, why it is. Uh, we got to get back on the Blake stuff here soon. There's a lot of weird shit going on with refunds. Uh, so look forward to that. Also, I believe it should be active today. I got a uh, a troll and toad code. You can use rattle five now for five percent off. Pretty sick, nasty. Hopefully, do some live streams in the future, uh, completing some binder sets. Yeah, we're gonna bring. We gotta. We gotta. We gotta even out the the negative content with the uh, positive content. We we'll we'll get there. We'll get there, guys. We we just gotta we gotta eliminate some of the uh, some of the scum. Uh, and hopefully bring bring it back. I mean, there's always going to be bad guys. There's always going to be people that are stealing. There's always going to be scammers. But uh, if we can if we can quench them down to a minimum, I feel like whatnot is not helping that in any way. Uh, hopefully, the Facebook cracks down a lot of the on a lot of the uh, illegal gambling as well. But we'll do what we can. In the meantime, be very careful out there. There's lots of good people in the hobby. There's lots of good people that want to buy and sell. There's lots of good people that you can make friends with, you can trade with. But, um, yeah, be careful. Be careful out there. See ya.